Quick disclaimer, I am not an audio expert in any way. This video is just demonstrating how I installed a 12 inch IDQ12 subwoofer in the rear deck of a JCX90. Uh, the method I used is a little bit unorthodox because I didn't have a wood router at the time to cut an opening in the medium density fiber board. And then you just want to be sure you seal off the rear shelf from the front as much as you can. That way the sub can use the rear trunk as a box. Also, plan to fabricate some sort of reinforcement for the rear deck because when the sub hits, the rear deck tends to flex a little bit. Any flex results in wasted energy. Again, not an audio expert in any way, just an amateur winging it. Hope this video helps you guys out. So we basically want this guy to be as flat as possible. So I think I'm gonna have to trim a little off the edge here, down here, here, and here. But I basically want to leave enough to where I can start screwing down the bolts. This guy kind of sticks up and prevents the whole thing from sitting flat. So you can see how everything kind of like sits flat as opposed to before. This part's flat, this part flat, flat. The only thing is like there's a little gap right here, but I can fill that in with some um, expanding foam. But so far so good.
And this part's optional, but I use the aluminum foil to make the uh, MDF easier to remove and clean up the foam spray if I need it. Just in case I ever want to go back and redo this whole setup, it won't be as much of a headache as it could be. And of course, you want to allow time to cure. Uh, I gave this one about eight hours, which is instructed on the Great Stuff bottle. Eight hours later. All right, one of the final steps is cutting away just enough of the cardboard material in the back to clear the subwoofer diameter while leaving the carpet section alone. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is take the carpet section and tuck it under the speaker ring.
And a step not shown in the video is you want to use a drill bit to pre-drill mounting holes in the MDF. Doing this helps prevent stress cracks in the MDF and makes installing the two back screws near the rear glass much easier. Hey, 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 hey. You remember when you started in the first place? 